As my longtime viewers will know, I do like to make a habit of, while not unboxing every RAM kit that, you know, ever comes out, because there's far too many configurations for that, rather there are far too many configurations for that, I do like to make a habit of unboxing at least each heat spreader that comes out, so I have not yet had a chance to check out the Vengeance heat spreader from Corsair. Now, Vengeance is sort of a, a value line from Corsair, but what's cool about it is that, unlike many lines of memory from other vendors, you can see here that this one is optimized for Core i3, Core i5, Core i7, and AMD Phenom X2. So the timing is pretty good for that, as AMD sales are pretty good at the moment with their six core processors being such a wicked value for video editors and such. So you can see each module is actually packaged individually. This is smart because it means that Corsair can easily, just by producing a different size box, make them into a dual channel or a triple channel kit, and by programming the SPD slightly differently. So this particular kit is an eight gig kit. So that is, it is two four gig modules. And unlike the picture, which shows them as sort of a matte finish, you can see here that the Vengeance heat spreader is sort of in between a matte and a glossy finish. So it looks quite uh, looks quite sleek. Now, I don't actually have a motherboard handy to show you guys what it looks like when it's installed. But you can see here that the graphics are actually done via a sticker. So there's a sticker that wraps around the top here. There's a sticker that goes on the side here. And then there's also a sticker over here that has uh, the part number or barcode, as well as all the information about this kit. So why don't we have a look at what this kit has to say for itself. So it's a two by four gig kit. This is a four gig dim. It runs at 1600 megahertz, 99924. And look at that nice low voltage, only 1.5 volts on this particular Vengeance kit. So while the heat spreader frankly doesn't really do that much in terms of RAM performance at this point. It's often part of a, of a nicely styled build and it couldn't be that hard to find something that'll go well with the Vengeance module. So thanks for watching Linus Tech Tips. Don't forget to subscribe and yeah, please don't forget to subscribe. I think I was going to say something else but I forgot what it was. Thanks for watching. Subscribe.